Thanks everyone for joining. As you can see there, we have Miss Amy, our wonderful breeder, <laughs> and she's with her little sheepadoodle puppies. We're proud to have Amy into our network and our program. She's been with us for a number of years, and uh, we reached out to her specifically because we know how cute her puppies are, and we know how good of a job she does. So we're going to get started here. My name is Peter, and I'm with Paul Raid. We work with breeders, and we make sure that they're going to be good people. Um, they're reputable. They have experience with breeding. Um, they do responsible breeding. And what we want to do is give you the opportunity to get a puppy that's going to have health checks, have a health guarantee, um, and just give you a safe place to look for a puppy and find a puppy for you and your family um, that's going to be safe and you don't have to worry about those scams. We bring a lot of value to the pet adoption process because there really are so many scams online these days. We hear horror stories every day of people losing hundreds to thousands of dollars. And we understand that there's a lot of risks and concerns out there. We're going to talk about the sheep -a doodles and make sure that you guys have an opportunity, like I said, uh, to consider getting a puppy from Paw Raid because there's a lot of dangerous places out there. There's a lot of people just seeking to um, get money from you. So Amy, I'm going to put you here on the spotlight for everyone to see. Okay. <laughs> if you want to take uh, maybe a minute or two to introduce yourself, talk about your years of experience with breeding, to so talk to us about your sheep and doodles and what you do over there to make sure that your puppies are raised well and happily uh, around your family environment. I'm Amy. Um, I raise sheep and doodles and I'm a licensed vet tech. So I've been doing it for about 14 years as a licensed vet tech. My sheep and doodles are not caged. They get the roam around. The mom and dad get to stay with them as well. They were born October 10th. So they just turned seven weeks. And they went to the vet and had their shot. So everybody's healthy. We didn't have any problems, nothing. Everybody just got a good health check. Can you remind us how many we have right now available in the litter? So I have two males and I have four females. So I can show you, this is a male, a big male. So this one actually is Ty. And he's beautiful. He's got some real pretty markings on him. He's pretty lazy. He's a real lazy boy. And then my other boy is, let's see. He's going to be over here. This is my other boy. Yeah. So this is the other male. And so he's listed on the side as Tony. He's got some unique markings as well. He's got on his eyes, um, he's got some white, but he also has a little bit of silver, like around his eyes, kind of looks like um, eyeshadow or kind of eyeliner. But he also has, they all of them have the white tuxedo chest. And some of them have an actual, like a cross on, the, on their chest. Um, this little female, she's kind of different. She's kind of consider, considered like a phantom. She has like brown, brown on her paws. She also has the white and the white little chin. So this is Trey. And then this little one, she's called Taylene. Um, she also uh, has the white and a little bit of white on her front hair. They're all really very chill. They're not, um, they love to play, of course, but they're not real crazy puppies. This one right. is um, Tanya. So she also has the white, a little bit of white, white chin, white chest, white little paws. She's a little active. She likes to, to run around a lot, but as you see, she's not real active right now. She's they're all just kind of tired now. They were playing for a while. This is the little runt. This one is um, Tina. So as you see, she's like half the size of the other ones, but she has the biggest personality of them all. 
<laughs> Can you talk about the sizes and weights of mom and dad and maybe reference how big you think these puppies will get? I know we can't guarantee that, but it's right. always nice to have, you know, a, a range in mind of the weights. Yes. So um, the mom this is a old English sheepdog and she is 52 pounds and the daddy is a standard poodle and He's 42 pounds. So 40 not to 50 pounds seems to be the average range. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You talk a little bit about the temperament of a sheep -a doodle because I know most people are familiar with golden doodles and labradoodles, and there's some high energy with that type of doodle dog. Well, sheep -a doodles are, um, as you said, you know, very similar to um, golden doodles. Um, their attention span is, I think, uh, a lot better than a golden doodle. They seem to, you know, want to be at your feet more so all the time and more willing to please. They're very easy to train. Um, like I said, they, they pay attention. They're always always alert as to where you're at and what you're doing. Keep a doodles are such spoiled babies. They just love to, to be loved. They just want attention all the time. They are potty trained to go outside of a doggy door. So they do have um, free run of going in and out um, when they want. You know, what's the socialization like inside the house, outside the house, things like that? So um, they're inside and out a lot. Like I said, they're trained for a puppy door. Um, but they also, I have two grandbabies um, that handle them. They were handling them the first day that they were born. Um, so they get, yeah, lots of socialization. I physically deliver the puppies myself. So from the minute they're born, they are handled. Um, they do like cats. I have cats that, you know, play with them. They're used to, you know, the TV sound sweeper. We sweep around them. Um, so they get a lot of socialization from my, uh, my kids um, and their friends. So they, they get a lot of handling, <laughs> but they're really, they're good. They're good puppies. They don't, they're not, like I said, they're not big chewers. I think because we do, you know, have so socialized them so much that they don't, they're not hyper and they're really, yeah. really, really chill. Well, after 8 p.m., who wants a dog that's uh, running around doing zoomies? You know, it's nice to have a breed that's going to relax with you, maybe binge watch some Netflix and hang out. So I think they're showing the perfect temperament for what you'd want this time of day. Yes. And they also, they're great. They're great with kids. They're great, you know, with other animals. They do well with, um, like going, you know, going places. They love to swim. They love water. So let's talk a little bit about the logistics because of course the puppies are cute, but the next question is how can I get one? Um, so you're located in Indiana and we always help arrange the pickup or the delivery options. Um, so can you talk to us a little bit about working with us, Paul Raid, about the transport? Um, if someone's not in Indiana, but needs one of your puppies. I am just very impressed as to how they handle it because being a breeder as I am, I'm very cautious with my puppies and you know how they're handled. So um, they do a wonderful job. I've had transportation, you know, come to my house and pick them up and they just, you know, love them. They're always, you know, kept in great conditions, you know, when they're traveling to take them to their new homes. They'll text me, they'll send me pictures and, you know, let me know where the puppies are at. They show me, you know, when they get there. Um, I've also used um, the airline too, where they've had a uh, nanny come and pick the puppy up for me at the airport and the same thing they always you know keep in touch with me and I think that eases my mind more than anything because 
I know that the people that are handling these puppies and taking them to their new homes, they're getting them to where they're going, but they also care about the puppies and they make sure the puppies are being taken care of. So that means a lot to me as a breeder. Um, so, and I've used, I've used Paul Gray for over three years now and I absolutely love them. I'm gonna steal the spotlight here really quick, just so all of y'all understand. Um, you know, we have a list of our values right here that I'll go over, but we also have a big statistic over here on my shoulder, about 80% of pet advertisements online are scams. And this is a Better Business Bureau statistic. Uh, it's been reported this year. So when you're out there and you're looking at different websites, I mean, even things like Craigslist and Facebook, just understand that the stats say four out of five puppies are a scam. So we're really excited to give you an opportunity to look for a puppy or a sheep -a doodle without the worry of scams. It's probably the biggest thing that we hear is feedback from people that are looking for a puppy. What we do is we vet breeders. Uh, we make sure that you have a secure payment option to make sure that the transaction goes through uh, seamlessly and smoothly. Uh, we make sure that our breeders are going to do the health checks on the puppies and get the health guarantees for you. Uh, we actually extend the health guarantee that most breeders have up until three years. We even have an option for a 10-year health guarantee. Uh, we also have the post-adoption care. Uh, we have the education and support because we work with a lot of first-time owners. So people that are coming to us that maybe have never had a dog before or grew up with a dog but never actually owned their own dog as an adult. Um, so that post-adoption support is really important to us. We want to make sure that we're with you from the very start all the way to the day that you get your puppy um, and even after that. Lastly, you'll see that we are powered by pet pay. This is pretty much the PayPal version of pet adoptions and PetPay is the platform that we've chosen to make sure that every payment and transaction um, happens with confidentiality and protection. Um, people are being scammed on Zelle and Venmo and Cash App. Uh, we've even heard of people that get scammed by buying hundreds of dollars worth of gift cards at Walmart and Target thinking they're gonna get a dog that way. and. Unfortunately, that's just not how it works. So it's important to make sure that you are going through a trusted service. And we have thousands of reviews. We have dozens of videos of our customers, you know, receiving their puppies and, and talking about the process. So these are the value that we bring. I'm, I'm going to put the spotlight back on you, Amy, for a moment. Can you talk about as a breeder, why does Paul Raid make your life so much easier? Well, it gives me the security, like I said, to know that my puppies are actually going to a good home. They match up the puppies. You know, we talk about, you know, personalities and like, you know, who would make the best fit for, you know, this home. And um, so it's, it's very comforting to me to know that they're going to families that are have well thought out the process that it's just not a puppy that they're getting that is an actual family member that they're going to be, you know, bringing into their homes. So I think that, like I said, they just take the time and they care about the puppies just as much as I do. Well, I'll finish up with a final statement just to let everybody know that um, we have a full concierge service that's going to help you from start to finish. Uh, we make sure that as Amy said, we are placing these puppies in, into the right home so that they find one forever home and don't ever have to worry about anything after that other than being loved and spoiled. So please give us a call. Consider Paul Raid. There's too many scams out there. We are here to make sure that you get a puppy that's been vet checked, vaccinated, and comes from a breeder that is really responsible. Well, Amy, thanks again so much talking mm -hmm. about um, you know, your program over there and just your love for your puppies. It shines through with the beauty of the little boys and girls you got there. We are the best place and the safest place that you're going to find online to make sure that you're bringing a puppy home to your family that you're going to love forever. So um, Amy, I'm going to just thank you one more time. Thank you, Mr. Cameraman for giving us yeah. those close-ups. <laughs> That's us. Thank you. Thanks right. a lot, Peter. Thank, thank you. Thank you.